it's me again, Cameron Lakeman. Welcome back to another week of the weekly nightly news. For our first segment, Brian Connors, Mike Danielle, EJ Presley, and Tyler Cord went around interviewing freshmen. I'm Ryan. I'm here with DeAndre. All right, DeAndre. How do you feel about your classes now that you've been to all of them? Well, now I've been to all my classes. Um, it's getting a little better. I know where to actually go now. Uh, but sometimes it's a little confusing, but overall it's getting better. Yeah. How do you feel about your teachers? Uh, they're pretty easygoing, pretty calm, and uh, not that much work so far. All right. Thank you. Um, How is it being adjusted to the new building and the new school? Uh, It's kind of complicated because this is like three buildings. And sometimes you got to go outside and stuff like that, but it's not that bad. Have you had good help from student, older students and teachers directing you? Yeah, I just see them on the side and just ask them questions. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Tyler, and you are? Matthew. All right, now that your first week is over, how was it? Uh, it was pretty fun, you know, got lost, and that really helped me figure out the building, have some class with my friends, so that's fun. I like that answer. Who am I here with? Camden. Now that you've been through your full first schedule at Stanford High School, how do you feel about your classes? I feel great, and I feel happy with my classes and the classes I have. I appreciate what I get. Okay, okay. How do you feel about your teachers? Love the teachers, and they're very nice, and are very cool and funny. Thank you. I'm here with... Sophia. Liv. Elliot. Chloe. Eliana. All right, now that you guys have been through your first week of high school, how do you feel about your classes? Um, I like most of them. Um, they're really far apart. <laughs> it's good. We have good teachers. They're really fun. I have friends in, like, all my classes, and it's just, yeah. Same. And have you guys heard of Freshman Fridays yet? No. 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 Thank you. I'm here with Lucas, Christian. All right. Now that you guys have been through your first week of high school, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your schedule and your classes? Um, I like a lot of my classes. A day is really fun, and the schedule took a little bit of time to get used to, but now it's really easy. Uh, they're a lot easier than I thought. So yeah, it's really easy. Have you guys ever heard of Freshman Friday? I haven't. What is what is Freshman Friday? No, I haven't heard of it. Stay away from the fourth floor. Thank you. Next, Natalia Sianco went around asking people what they did over the summer. Hello, my name is Natalia Sianco, and I'm going to be interviewing people on how their summer went. I'm here with... JJ the Great. Okay, what did you do this summer? I worked all summer. I did summer school. I did this and that. I, I think I had three days off the whole summer, but it was fun. But I'm back. Yes, you are. Hi, my name is Frank Russo, Jr., security guard. I'm with... Natalia Sianco. Natalia, what did you do this summer? I went to Poland and I went to Slovakia and I went to Turkey. That's it? Yeah, I spent f uh, five weeks there. Nice. Hello, I'm here with Zitlali. What did you do over the summer? I took a college course at UConn Stanford and I went to Mexico. Very smart, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Kelsey. Ayana. What did you guys do this summer? Oh, I went on a cruise. It was pretty boring, but I still liked it, I guess. Yeah. How about you? I went to Florida, and it was my birthday. Yup, yup. Happy good. birthday. I'm here with... Mr. McElhose. And what did you do this summer? Ooh, I did some summer school, which was fun. Um, and then I also... Uh, took a lot of day trips. I reconnected with some friends that I, some of whom I hadn't seen in a very long time. But they're all like local day trips. No long trip away. That's nice. I'm glad you got to see your friends. It was fun. Thank you. That's it. This school year, we had a few guidance counselors leave Stanford High. So Joey Wargo, Mark Zampino, and Princess Stacy went around interviewing our new guidance staff. How were high school students different than the middle school students that you used to have? Uh, well, they're the most of them are the same, and I mean, I think they treat me the same from what I've seen. So the only difference is they're bigger, and I have to figure out their credits. <laughs> Seeing the students at, from your old school, see them grow. How do you like? Do you like it? I love it. Um, 
I like being able to like walk walk past kids and be like, hey, I had you. And then I play the game of trying to remember the name, which sometimes I'm better at. Um, but I, I love seeing not only how kids have like literally grown, because most of them now I have to look up to them. Um, but I like being able to look at their credits and see like what classes they've taken in college they're thinking about going to and just how they've like evolved. Now for our sports update and part two of Meet the Captains. I'm Jack. And I'm Brady. And, and this, this is This Week, week in Black Knight Sports. sports. Girls soccer tied 0-0 versus Darien on Monday and took on Staples on Tuesday. Tomorrow they head up to Ridgefield to face the Tigers. Boys soccer is on the road this week, tying Darien 2-2 on Tuesday and on Thursday they played at Staples. Here are some clips from their Darien game. Field hockey took on St. Joe's and Trumbull this week. On Tuesday, they won 4-1 versus St. Joe's. On Tuesday, girls volleyball beat Harding, and on Thursday, they took on New Canaan. This weekend, they head up to Weston to face the Trojans. Cross Country had their first meet on Tuesday. Tomorrow, football kicks off their season at home against Newtown at 1 p.m. The theme is blackout, so wear black and, and be, be there. there. That's it for sports. See you next week. Go, Go Black Knights! I'm here with Elizabeth, girls volleyball captain. Building on last year, what can we look forward to seeing from the team? You can look forward to more wins, a lot of hard work and dedication. What game are you most looking forward to this season? Every single game. Hi, I'm here with Aubrey Rogera. I'm one of the captains of the field hockey team. What are your expectations for this field hockey season? I have really high expectations for this season. I think there's a lot of games on our schedule that are really winnable for our team. What game are you most excited for this season? I'm probably most excited for the West Hill game. It's usually a really fun game for everyone because you're playing people from the same city, and it's usually a really good matchup against West Hill. For our final segment, Marty and Berno and Eileen Rella went around asking students to do gymnastics. I totally should have been interviewed, but it's whatever, I guess. Hi, I'm Marty. And I'm Eileen. And today we're asking people around Stanford High to do the splits. Yay! This is my demonstration of what we're going to be asking people to do today. I'm with Sean. And we are going to do the splits together. I'm here with Kim. And today we're going to be trying the splits. I'm here with Rachel. Go for it. Hi, today we're with Ms. Dowling's IB Spanish class, and we're going to be showcasing their many gymnastic skills. Split on. I'm here with? Uh, Anderson. Go for it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed everyone's splits or gymnastics moves today in today's video. Thank you very much. Wasn't that a great video? That's it for this week's weekly nightly news. Make sure to join us next Friday and every Friday after that. Bye. Bye.